Okay, so the next step is to import the image that you have taken a photograph of. Uh, you have taken the photograph in natural daylight or near a window. You haven't got these shadows that are showing up here because you've taken a really good quality photograph. And you have emailed it to yourself, you have downloaded it. And then the next step I am going to turn off this uh, layers palette first. So where the eye is, I'll turn that off. And then I'm going to open up my image. So I will go file, open. I'll grab my Medusa image and select open. Okay, so now I have this image here. And it's looking a bit dark and grey on the left hand side. So I can play around with a few things to try and fix that. I can go to image, adjustments, levels. This one takes a bit of getting used to. I can use these sliders here and I can slide them up or down and you can see that's the wrong way, it's too dark. So I'll go back the other way and see if I can lighten up that left-hand side a bit and see if that makes it any better. And you can see it's really hard if you haven't taken a good quality photograph from the start to clean it up. You're much better taking a good quality image from the start. So I'll cancel out of that one. Not happy with that. Image. Adjustments, brightness, contrast is my other option. This one's much easier. I can just take the lightness up and the contrast. And you can slide it each way to see if you're happier with that at all. And you can see it doesn't really help that picture at all. So, okay. Now to copy this, I'm going to go Control A as you do in Word to select it and then Control C to copy. Then I will go across to my book cover template and do control V. So now you'll see it's just placed it in the center of my page. And so I'll go to the tool palette and make sure that this um, is selected. That's my selection tool. And I'll just select my image and slide it over there. Now the reason it moves for me is because this layers palette here is selected. And that's a layer that has just come in. If you have a layer that does something like this, and you think that you've lost everything, it's just because one layer sits on top of the other. So this is a background image, so it should sit down the bottom. So I'm going to select it and drag it down here, and then as you can see, it goes underneath the text. Uh, so that works perfectly. Now, if you're wanting to change the front cover title, select the title panel in the uh, layers palette, and then you need to select the type tool, and click on this three times to select it. Up the top of my page, there's uh, the type impact and there's an arrow, a downward arrow here. So I'll click on that downward arrow and I can scroll through. And as you can see, it gives me an indication of what the type would look like when I scroll through. So I'm going to try and type, find a typeface that I like that is suitable for my book cover design. Uh, so you probably want something that stands out a little bit. Um, if you've got a decorative sort of illustration, you probably don't want a decorative type as well because it will make it hard to read. Um, so maybe something quite simple could look good. And they're all big, bold typefaces that I've chosen so far. There's nothing in between. So let's just say, hmm. don't go for Comic Sans, by the way. Don't go for Copper Plate. Don't go for Curls. Your designers, you're not desktop publishers, and designers use good typefaces. So just remember that when you're doing design. Um, so there's not really a lot of good typefaces to choose from, but I'll just go for this one. You can see it's way too big. So I want to make that smaller. So I triple click again. The size up here in the top of the panel is 170 point. I'm going to reduce that to say 72, too small. So then I can also highlight and type it in. So I might try perhaps 100. If I'm not happy with that, I can select it again, make it 120 and keep going until I'm happy with that. Then with the cursor, the selection tool, I can move my title around. There you go. So I've got my title then. 